。喂，咁多位大家好，我系冷 Sir。头先咧，我哋就用鲨鱼去讲解下有关于演化嘅概念。而家咧，我哋就用下人类同埋其他嘅灵长类动物咧。去研究一下佢哋嘅系統發展關係啦，其實都係一樖另類嘅演化樹嚟嘅喎。咁啊呢一幅圖啦，我咁啊成日解俾大家聽咧，就好似我哋打嗰啲淘汰賽一樣啊。我哋要判別一隻生物究竟同另一啲生物究竟個演化關係近唔近咧，就好似睇下佢哋打比賽嘅啫。即係例如啦，我今次咧想睇下人啦、大猩猩啦，同埋環尾狐猴嗱呢三隻嘢，佢哋三隻嘢個名咧擺得好近嘅。但係佢哋個演化關係係咪就係都係咁近呢？原來唔係喎，因為啦，對於人同埋大猩猩嘅話呢，佢哋打完第一場，其實大約啦喺呢個一千萬年前呢，佢哋嘅祖先就喺呢一度啦，佢哋嘅對決就喺呢度。咁究竟人要打幾多場比賽先見得返隔離呢一隻環尾狐猴呢？打同大猩猩打完第一場啦，第二場啦，第三場啦，第四場啦，跟住環尾狐猴又要打贏自己另一場啦，跟住去到總決賽。去到大約六千萬年前呢，先揾到佢哋嘅共同祖先嘅。咁所以啦，雖然呢三隻嘢個名擺得好近，但其實人類呢，同埋大猩猩嘅關係呢，係近一啲，係近過環尾狐猴嘅。咁你話呢個係演化樹或者呢啲所謂淘汰賽嘅概念去理解嘅，就唔好以為呢啲名擺得近呢，就叫做關係近喎、哦。咁而家啦，呢條題目呢，就問返我哋啦，下面邊一句説話呢？嘅陳述係正確嘅，咁啊當然啦，成條題目呢，就考返我哋有關於啦系統演化樹嘅概念啦，啊演化關係究竟係點樣判別咩叫近咩叫遠啦？呢、這個圖表當中，我哋要分析返佢嘅分支模式，從而了解返佢哋嘅演化關係啦。然後啦，亦都要比較一下唔同嘅物種之間佢哋嘅演化距離啦。個演化距離呢，就係想睇下究竟佢哋喺邊一個時間就有一個演化嘅分支嘅。例如啦，頭先我哋講人同大猩猩嘅演化分支，大約係一千萬年前啦。而最當初啦，走呢一邊線嘅啊，變成環尾狐猴啊、大足狐猴啊，咁啊同埋啦，走上上面嗰條路咧，呢、這個分支咧就大約喺六千五百萬年前嘅。嗱，睇個分支就知得到啦，究竟個關係究竟係遠定係近咯？咁而家我哋嚟做咗擊破咯。第一句説話咧，佢就話啦，呢、這個冠長臂猿。就同呢個大猩猩同埋呢個人類呢，係有一個共同祖先嘅。咁的確係㗎。嗱，揾返呢三隻嘢先啦，冠長臂猿啦、大猩猩啦、人類啦，其實佢哋都有一個共同祖先，就係喺呢一個位啦，啱唔啱？喺呢一度，一部分分支成為冠長臂猿，另一部分就分支成為另一個嘅派系。跟住啦，大約過多一千萬年之後啦，就再分支成為大猩猩同埋人類。咁所以啦，佢哋的確係有一個共同祖先，大約咧就喺二千萬年前呢個位嘅。咁所以第一句説話咧已經係正確咗噶啦。嗱，咁啊有啲體育精神啦，搞掂埋 B、C、D 佢啦。B 佢就話咧，大猩猩同埋呢個環尾狐猴咧，就係、是、有一個近啲嘅關係，相比同呢個白面真面猴。咁我哋而家揾翻呢三隻靈長類先啦，白面真面猴啦，大猩猩啦。环尾狐猴啦，都系嗰句啦。环尾狐猴咧，佢呢一个分支系喺大约六千五百万年前去分出嚟嘅。咁但系啦，大猩猩同埋白面真面猴咧，嗱大猩猩打完第一场，打完第二场，打完第三场，打完第四场。OK， 咁白面真面猴咧赢一场，再上到嚟就已经可以同大猩猩打啦。即系话啦，佢哋嘅共同祖先喺边度啊？係喺大約呢個位置，即係大約四千萬年前左右啦。咁你諗下啦，大猩猩同埋呢個白面真面猴，但係啦，再追返上去同環尾狐猴呢，就喺六千五百萬年前去發生。喎。咁所以啦，邊個關係近啲呀？咁梗係白面真面猴同埋呢個大猩猩嘅關係近啲啦。但係咁啊，同環尾狐猴呢，就係遠好多㗎喇喎，係咪？呢兩隻呢，係近啲嘅，嚇呢兩隻呢，就係遠一啲嘅。咁而家題目佢講乜嘢？大猩猩同埋呢個環尾狐猴嘅關係近啲，喎，係咪？相比白面真面猴，咁所以 B 就錯咗啦。跟住去到 C 嗰句啦，佢就話白面真面猴佢係乜嘢呢？佢係呢個触毛卷尾猴同埋呢個白额卷尾猴嘅共同祖先。喎。而家我哋又搵返呢三隻灵长类动物先。呢、這個白面真面猴係咪真係佢哋共同祖先呢？不是、哦。呢一隻嘢係嘛？生存喺大約一千萬年前嘅呢一隻不知名嘅生物，先係呢兩隻靈長類嘅共同祖先喎。
，而八面真面猴同呢兩隻嘢佢哋共同祖先喺呢度喎。咁即係話啦，其實八面真面猴呢，只係喺大約啦二千萬年前左右啦，咁就喺呢度出咗嚟嘅一個分支。咁所以八面真面猴係咪佢哋嘅祖先呢？就不是啦。佢只係一個咧較早出現嘅分支嚟嘅啫，跟住去到啲啦，佢就話大猩猩同人類嘅分別係同環尾狐猴同埋呢個大足狐猴嘅分別係一樣喎，哇！咩咩咩意思啊？咩兩個分別係一樣啊？咁我哋又揾翻呢四隻嘢先啦，大猩猩啦、人類啦、環尾狐猴、大足狐猴啦。題目就話啦，大猩猩同人類嘅不同。同埋環尾狐猴同大足狐猴嘅不同係一樣，其實就不一樣，因為呢，我哋今次就係去睇返佢哋嘅時間上面去理解啦。大猩猩同人類呢，大致上就喺一千萬年前左右呢，就有個分支嘅。咁但係啦，環尾狐猴同大足狐猴呢，大約啦，一定係超越咗一千萬，可能係一千二百、一千三百年左右啦。咁即係話佢哋係再早多啲年份呢，已經係有一個變化啦。所以啲呢，都係錯啦。Hello, students. So after we use the shark to study the evolution, so now we use humans and some pyramids to study the phylogenetic relationship. So you can see that along the time, million years ago, you can study different pyramids. How close or how far is the phylogenetic relationship between them? So before we talk about the question, I would like to remind you the idea. How can we read this phylogenetic diagram? So let's say. Gorilla, humans, and the ring-tailed lemurs. So these three animals in this diagram, you can see these three names. They are just adjacent to each other. But does it mean that they are in close relationship? No, no, no. So when we are reading this phylogenetic relationship diagram or the evolutionary tree, so we study it like the Ptolemy. It's just like the lockout Ptolemy to determine how far or how close are they. So, for example, for the humans and gorilla, they just need to play one match, then we can select the winner, right? So the humans they need to play one match, two match, three match, four match, and then finally go to the finals. And then for the ring-tailed lemur, also one match, and then go to the final as well. So for humans, they need to play four matches before they meet the ring-tailed lemur. But for the gorilla, they just meet each other in the first match. So you can see that for human and gorilla, they are in a close relationship. Their relationship is a bit far away from each other. So that's the basic concept. How can we study this phylogenetic relationship diagram? So for this question, it's asking that which of the following statements about this pyramid is correct. So for the whole question, it's checking the concepts like that. We need to understand the phylogenetic trees and the evolutionary relationship. And then how can we interpret the branching pattern in the evolutionary diagram? And we need to compare the evolutionary distance between the species based on the time. So for option A, pileated gibbons they share the common ancestor with gorilla and humans. So find out these three animals first: pileated gibbons, gorilla, and humans. So do they have the common ancestor? Surely they have one here. So around. Twenty millions years ago, they have the common ancestor, so that's why for option A, it is correct already. So let's take a look at the option B, C, D. Option B, gorillas have a closer relationship with the ring-tailed lemur than the right-faced sakis. Find out these three animals first: right-faced sakis, gorilla, and the ring-tailed lemur. It says that gorilla and the ring-tailed lemur it has a closer relationship. Then the white face sakis say actually it's not correct because for the gorilla and the white face sakis actually they play the tournament and then you can see that they have a common ancestor I'm say in around forty millions years ago. On the other hand, for the ring-tailed lemur and the gorilla, their common ancestor may appear at around sixty-five millions years ago. So you can see that far, far, far away. Therefore, it's a wrong concept. Okay, the gorilla they should be more related to the white-faced sakis than to the ring-tailed lemur. So for option C, white-faced sakis are the common ancestor of the tufted capuchin and the white-front capuchins. Tufted capuchins, white-front capuchins, and the white-faced sakis. So actually, you can see that they have a common ancestor in this way. So white-faced sakis, it is not the common ancestor. 
一二三四 ，so white face sakis they are not the common ancestor of these two animal. Somehow they have the same common ancestor here. And then white face sakis, what is it? Is just a early branch. So what is the white face sakis? They are not the ancestor of the turf the capuchin and the ripen capuchin, but rather a separate branch that diverged earlier. So therefore, option C also wrong. And for the last option, the difference between the gorilla and humans is the same as that of the ringtail lemurs and the greater bamboo lemurs. So gorilla, humans, ringtail lemur, and greater bamboo lemur. We need to refer to the timeline to find that the evolutionary distance between them. Gorilla and human, their common ancestor, exists in around ten millions years ago. And for the ringtail lemur and the greater bamboo lemurs, they have the common ancestor, maybe around twelve or thirteen millions years ago. So it shows that the evolutionary distance between the gorilla and human is much smaller than that between the ringtail lemur and the greater bamboo lemur.